Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dainty Seamstress. Thank you for joining me for another video. I know this looks weird, but I have a very special unboxing that I'm doing right now. This is a Happy Meal, a very large Happy Meal from one of my friends and subscribers. Her name is Esther and she goes by Roombox Girl on Instagram. I'm going to have all of her Instagram all of her information linked in the description so you can check her out she is an an amazing artist and creative person first i want to thank you esther for all of the wonderful goodies that you packed inside of this box it's so thoughtful of you to do that and i'm overjoyed a little overwhelmed and really excited because all of this stuff i can use so I wanted to share that with you all so I I've already unboxed everything to be honest and I've looked through everything and I'm just wanting to share some things with you so you can see so a lot of this is going to be fabrics there's white and gold lace very pretty very very pretty I really really like this kind of thing I thought this was awesome too it's a kind of medium weight knit fabric I guess I can show it this way you can see the little design there really nice so she let me know that she is a textile artist she used to make costumes and also she makes the room boxes for her dolls the um savage baby dolls which i think that name is so funny the, but the little dolls are so cute there's so much stuff in here i think this is a piece of silk like a cream color very pretty and then here is i want to say this is wool it's like a cream and like a maybe ivory color some scrap pieces which i love oh i don't it's, it's so cool that just with a little amount of fabric you can do many different things so here is that's the train going by <laughs> i do live by the railroad tracks so i think this uh maybe faux suede or suede and here is oh i love this stuff some type of quilted fabric oh this is going to be cool this will be nice for a little jacket or maybe even a mattress that's really neat it's stretchy and then here's a piece of lace very delicate piece it almost looks like a peak oh it is a peacock look at that really cool and here's another piece of a silk more of a medium weight silk this time really nice oh and i love this type of ribbon i have a few um maybe like a brown a blue and i think some pink two types of pinks i really like this really cool awesome some tool like illusion mesh usually this is used you know for like skin tone for costumes when you don't want to be like completely naked and you want to cover yourself up with that this is cool it looks like maybe it's from um maybe i don't know but it's really nice i like this floral design that embroidery really pretty and then here is some i think this is organza very nice yeah there's some shiny organza that's really cool and then oh i love this look how pretty that is like a piece of upholstery fabric maybe oh but i love this blue really pretty floral design 
and then there's some more pieces oh and then this is this the same thing yeah this is the same thing i really like this i guess i should turn it this way so you can see the design and then this it looks like i'm not sure but I, I i think maybe she made this one but i really like it but ooh, it would be like let's see what would i do you know this really could be a pocket like if you put it on like a pair of jeans and you can just stick your hand that's really nice i really i, I want to know esther what is this called what type of design is this called well the technique i know i've seen it before where you take a, like a cord or maybe a lace and you pin it down maybe and then you stitch it i really like this i can't wait to use this this would make a really cool rug in the dollhouse too very nice and here are some feathers some peachy feathers some yellow feathers some white maybe cream that's like cream feathers and then there's this stuff which i think it well on the back it shows that it could be like a lining for maybe the inside of some cabinets or a tabletop it's pink really cool and then some metallic paper which i can use this is really nice everything in this box is really nice you're gonna hear me say that a lot this is really cool these feathers are different colors there's like blue and like maybe peacock feathers these pink feathers some brown feathers more feathers and then oh there's something else i wanted to there's a lot of as jay likes to call them jay dolls uk she says bits and bobs i love that but oh here's the card also i looked at it already there's a little b because my business on instagram is called capricious bees so i'm assuming that that's why she put it there but i really like the little b so in the card she sent a piece of her textile art that she created which i think is really cool which i think i might make a doll dress with this i think that would be really pretty like this way but you can see here that it's kind of like an embroidered design, maybe with a zigzag stitch. Very pretty. Very interesting, too, because to me, these look like tree sticks or branches or twigs. And then you got the green here, and there's like a gradient of thickness. So there's some thick zigzag here, and then as you go up, there's less and less stitches. I think that that's really cool and then her postcard that she sent i believe you can tell me if i'm wrong esther you made this paper mache bird artwork which i think is really cute and then the inside of the postcard says dear Ina, i hope you will have use for everything in the box i wish you lots of fun unpacking and crafting and then it has her name and then it says the piece of cloth is an example what the box um sorry the piece of cloth is an example what the textile artist made so she's letting me know that she made this which is really cool and i'm going to use that too i'm sure i'm going to use almost everything in this box for sure but again i want you to see the little bird because on the postcard it says her name then it says god hears me paper mache art and photography copyright 2021 so that's really awesome this is the first postcard that i've received here this is the second happy mail that the dainty seamstress youtube channel has received 
and I'm so thankful for it. I'm going to have a ball with this stuff. So there's lots of things. I'm just gonna kind of tear through these bags. Here's some trim. Really beautiful. Oh my gosh, I really like this so much. And I was um, telling her that I get on eBay and Instagram, sometimes, a lot of times Etsy, but mostly on um, eBay, there are people who are selling things like this, like boxes filled with craft supplies and remnants of lace and different things you can use to create with. And for her to send this to me, this was truly a blessing. And I'm just really, really grateful for it. So now I don't have to, <laughs> now I don't have to go online and look because I have a load of um, different things to try to use. So here's a thing filled with embroidery floss and embroidery threads. Really cool. This is really pretty. And then there's another one. With the different ones. Let's see the little labels. Moss wool and it has a little ship there. Sheep G's wool. Really cool. So it says 15 and a half meters. Really pretty. And then here's some pieces of embroidered flowers and things. This is really neat as well. Very pretty. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible. It's already been 12 minutes. So let's see what we got here. Here is some ribbon and some embroidery on this piece of linen. I think this is linen. And I think this may be, uh-oh, embroidery floss in red. That will be great for Christmas time. I think this is wool for maybe felting. Very interesting. Yeah, I believe that's some wool. And this, I'm not sure if this is a skirt or a dress, but it's really cute. It reminds me of the 60s and 70s. I may keep it this way. Oh, or it could be like a little, um, you'll see. You'll see what I do with it. But I really like this material. Very pretty. And then there's some green on the inside. And here is the next package. The next package, really nice and pretty blue fabrics. OMG, some blue, like a uh, turquoise or teal. Is it, I think it's turquoise. Turquoise, chiffon, and this material. Sometimes I don't know what materials are called. I'm the dainty seamstress, but I don't know every fabric there is in the world. <laughs> but here is some, I want to say this is organza. Very pretty. I like that it's so shiny. Some eyelet lace. That's so pretty. It looks like bows. Very nice. And some, I want to say this is teal. really pretty blue floral lace and then here are some pieces of trim uh oh oh that's really pretty little pom-pom balls lace little applique oh this is a floral lace trim maybe more embroidery floss ribbon and more little pom-pom balls 
some more lace and more ribbon. Oh, I love that it's so small and blue. And then here we have orange, more warm colors. Oh, this is pretty. Maybe it's yarn. I think it's a type of yarn. You guys can let me know too in the comments if you see something, you know what it is. This is so pretty. I really, really like this. It's a really sweet lace material. Very pretty. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. Where it's really thin lace with the embroidery on it. That's so pretty. And then I saw this. So there's some embroidery floss and some little bows and pieces of ribbon, which is all so, so very cute. And this amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know, I'm not gonna open it all the way, but there are people on here do you see that that's really special i have i have an idea of what i want to do with this thank you so much esther this is very special here it is that's what i was telling her too i was thinking her for color coordinating everything because here in my room i have a lot of stuff color coordinated when it comes to trims and ribbons and things. So it just helps me be able to put it away quickly. But there's so much stuff. Look at these trims, yellows and golds and orange. I think this is a piece of silk. But there's more trims and ribbon and tassel. It's amazing. So let's see, here's some small ribbons and feels like a silk fabric. Very interesting. Like little flowers and leaves. And so here we have some laces. Like some of this looks like needlework lace. Some eyelet lace. There's so much stuff. I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything I know. But I just wanted you to see that. Oh, that's really cool. This is interesting. There's so much inter interesting things. Look at this. That's really pretty. Wow. Yeah, there's all kinds of lace in here and some like yarns. I believe this is like a type of yarn. Let's take this out. And so in here there is I think this is a type of yarn, which I've never used before, but I see it a lot. This is really interesting. And this braid, that's so pretty in the velvet, velvet ribbon. Now, I don't know what these are. like these little wooden stick things with a round thing at the top or bottom and here are some it looks like leather scraps and some trim which is really neat I love brown trim 
There's some brown ribbon and this um like orange. Oh, it's let's see what this is. So it looks like it was made into something, maybe a belt. Maybe it came from a belt or something. But I really do like the color of it. And I know that I will find use for it. So that's awesome. Here are some cut out embroidered pieces. So some flowers. This is really cute. Uh oh, some of them fell out. But that's really nice. It has some beading on it. Really pretty. And some type of yarn. So red and a lilac purple. And then this, I think I did look, look, look good. Here's some black material. I really like this. And then there's some lace, and this is really pretty too. I think it's a silk fabric with some roses on it, and then there's some lace. And then these are like um, pantyhose, but they have spider webs on them, which I'm just gonna make, probably make some little leggings for my dolls with this. Thank you, Esther. I can't. I really can't. There's so much stuff in here. There's so much stuff. I'm really excited. So let's keep going. I'm almost done. Now this is leather scraps. Which is one of the things I have been looking for online. Oh my gosh and it's like the perfect thickness because I wanted to try to make some doll shoes really interesting and I love this too because what you can do there's some type of um, rub that you can put on the leather and it revives it back to how it's supposed to be so that'll be interesting to try and here's some black really cool really really cool maybe i'll try to make some uh furniture too with it there's a lot of there's lots of different colors in there and here is some purple purple and lilac color that's so pretty really nice some ribbon oh look at oh i love that that's really interesting really appreciate that and then we have this is the greens so green is my favorite color so here we have a beautiful olive green yarn it is wool so so beautiful also you probably see a tray here this also came in the box there's some beads and little mushrooms and these really fun umbrella things that you put on drinks i know that that's what they're for and i've always said i've seen these when i was a kid and i was like when i get older i'm just gonna buy some of those and do some stuff with it i never did so it's really cool that she put these in there so there's some lame fabric, this really cool ribbon, it's like two-toned green and blue and then some metallic threading and there's some wire in it. That's going to be interesting to use. And then here's some olive green tasseled fringe, really pretty. This is also going to be great too because I know some of you don't know 
because I haven't said it, but I also do some journaling and I make some junk journals. I'll show you guys one of them another time, but this will be great for that as well. Here is a Silk Dupioni scrap fabric. Usually it's used for like curtains and stuff. This is really cool. Has like a little pin tuck in the back to get this design there. And then here's some ribbon and more. This is like a piece of linen. And some bows. And then here we have some tasseled, um, I, I want to say this is like for drapes or for curtains and stuff. I love this. I love the colors. That is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I like how there's this darker green and then this lighter green and then the red and yellow makes it pop really pretty so this is some purples there seems to be some of this velvet stuff I love this stuff right here <laughs> it's stretchy it's like a stretchy velvet fabric really cool to use easy to use too I used to didn't like to use, uh, well not use, but work with knit fabrics, but now that I know how to actually use them and sew with them, it's great. So here's a sleeve with a really pretty um, bordered cuff on the arm and the fabric is really nice as well. That's going to be fun to use. And some velvets oh these are nice look at how amazing this is this two-toned red and blue oh and it's stretchy awesome that's really cool and here oh wow look at this oh that's pretty it has the lace So there's a lace in this um, crush velvet. I think it's called something else, but it's kind of crushed because, you know, you can see like the wrinkle. There's different types of crushed velvet, but that's one of them. And here is some, I think this is wool, like felt. It feels like felt, but I can tell that it's a wool. Very nice and purple. Here's some floral fabrics. Maybe like sample pieces or something. Very pretty. Very different, unique. I feel like these would make really great like boho um, curtains for a dollhouse. So maybe one of my girls will have a boho room. I think that would be really neat. What do you guys think about that? And then look at this. I've seen something like this before at the fabric store I used to work at. And they use it for curtains. But it's really lovely how they have like this taffeta material and then pieces of velvet running through really interesting and then we have oh that's a really thick piece of wool wow um wait a minute i have to get to this look at how cool this is a knit fabric so many colors this is gorgeous I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna do something with it. It almost looks like a brick wall, which is really interesting.
and then here is some two-toned taffeta very cool it matches that velvet material that's in there and here is some linen and some upholstery fabric velour now this is gorgeous i love anything with a rose and it's brown that's so pretty really really pretty okay let's see what we have here here is oh it's kind of like a peach fuzz material i don't know what to call it but it's cool and then some more of the wool and some more upholstery fabrics that'll be great for furniture i think this is upholstery fabric as well and i dropped something this is a piece of maybe satin and then this is really cool i see these a lot too this is really neat now i believe she may have made this correct me if i'm wrong yes so this is really cool it's like it looks like sample pieces of silk the silk shantung or the silk dupioni which is my favorite fabric this is awesome i'm gonna find a way to use this All right, I think this is the last bag from the box. Here's like a little circle. That's really neat. Okay, so here is the last, the contents of the box. It's faux furs. Here is some fur, which is really cool to maybe make a costume for a doll with or a coat or some ears very pretty it's like the cuddle fabric that you get to make big to uh i'm getting all tongue-tied that you get to make um baby blankets and throw blankets with here's a purple and white here is a thinner pile it's like a um, gray and white or a gray and a cream color it's really pretty here is a cream colored one this actually feels like wool i'm not exactly sure but it's really really soft Here's another thin pile, short pile, very silky and soft. Here's a really cool one. It has a backing on it, but it has this like circular um, design to it. It's in a, like a cream color. I think that is it oh here's this one last piece of material which is really really cool some warm colored um I'm not sure what it is it's like that uh kind of like eyelash yarn stuff I have some of this I really like using it maybe it's like a little scarf or something oh look it has a little fringe on the bottom I really like this really soft really cool I keep putting my fingers through it so it would be a really cool like little glove or something but i love this so much everything in this box is really cool esther thank you so much i can't thank you enough i'm really excited to put some of these things to use and whatever i do not use i will be taking some of it and maybe 
sending it to another doll um, artist because I thought this was really nice of her to send me all of this stuff and I'm going to try to pay it forward by sending a doll artist some um some of the things from my stash as well because it's a springtime and let's let's do some spring cleaning so that is all for this video i want you to go over and check out esther's instagram and follow her content and just say hello you can comment like share and subscribe let me know what was your favorite thing in the box that you saw and I want you guys to have an amazing rest of your weekend. God bless.